Oi. Oh. Won't Daddy record the show for you? Watch at home. Society has been helping people learn about and coexist with wild animals and wild places now for over 100 years. Here in New York, we do this through our four zoos and, of course, right here at the North Aquarium. We even have field programs in countries around the world to protect wildlife and the world we share. And speaking of wild animals, I have a warm welcome for our California Sea Lion and his trainer, Christina. Duke here is Eight years old and he weighs over 400 pounds. Dick was born in the Bronx Zoo, but in the wild, sea lions can be found living up and down the Pacific coast. Sea lions are very social animals, and they gather in large groups called rookeries, and rookeries can be very noisy places. vocalize to announce and defend their territories, while females vocalize to identify their pups on a crowded beach. The mother will vocalize and then the pup will return her call. Another way sea lions identify one another is through a breath exchange. And this looks a lot like a sea lion kiss. Pucker up, Christina. Sea lions are members of a larger group of animals called the pinniped. And this group includes walruses, true seals, and deer seals. Now, I'm sure everyone here knows what a walrus looks like, right? But it may be a bit harder to tell the difference between a true seal and an ear seal. So, let us give you a few hits. First, look at the side of the animal's head. If you see an external ear flap, you're looking at an ear seal, just like you. Ear seals also have long, strong front flippers, which they use to pull themselves through the water just as we use our arms when we go swimming. Sea lion tie flippers are used for steering. Whoa! Check these babies out! Their hind flippers also rotate underneath their bodies, which enable them to walk on all fours. And as a result, sea lions are extremely mobile on land. Hey! Guys, wait a second. Sometimes, these guys are the prey. 
and they must always be on the lookout for danger. <laughs> See any danger, Duke? Not necessary. Are you sure? Uh, we are. Well, here. well, of course there is no danger here in the Aqua Theater, but there is another predator that prowls the waters. Stalking Cory. Waiting for the perfect moment to strike. It's the sea lion's primary predator, the great white shark! That was an excellent impression of a shark, Duke, considering you've never seen one before. Yeah. Way to work the crowd, Duke. Well, you guys, this isn't anything to be joking about. Sharks are in some real trouble right now. Due to overfishing, some shark species have decreased by as much as 80%. And at this rate, many will soon die out. Dude! Wait a second, he's clapping! Wait, let's not encourage him, you guys. I know this may sound pretty good from a sea lion's point of view, but... In the long run, it won't be good for anyone. See, when shark populations fall, nature's balance is upset, and the entire food chain is threatened. It's very bad for the ecosystem. Aww. Aww. That's right. So strange as it may sound, we do need sharks. In fact, all species need one another in order to survive. Now, wild sea lions spend a large part of their lives avoiding predators and chasing prey. 